Greetings, your king is here and today I'm not making a Genshin Impact video. <laughs> I actually wanted to make this video for a while. This is like my collection of baby manhwas. This is what I'm gonna title the video. And yeah, basically I'm reading manhwa where the main characters like a daughter or a baby or a son I would say but the most I've read is from they are daughters okay my favorite character is Klee okay I like cute characters actually I was one of you guys I was the action guy I like to watch action back in 6th grade <laughs> I used to be the guy that watches like Naruto, Dragon Ball, Bleach the whole day I think after I reached like a certain point, I think I was like 14 or 15 where I was like, nah, I've had enough of action. <laughs> At the same time, I was also watching like romance, romance mangas. And then, and then after that, I think I only read romance mangas after that. And then at that time, I started reading like I think it was during college, like when I was like 18 years old, I started reading those like Shikomori-san and like, what's that famous one again? Nagatara was out back then. Ah, uh, what's that? <sighs> Komi-san, yes, Komi-san. I used to read Komi-san too. I think Komi-san is still running actually, <laughs> as well as Nagataro. But then after that, I went into Otome Isekai. Basically, it's I will call them Shoujo Isekai, something like this. Maybe I can find it. my history. Yeah, something. yeah. I think you can see like most of the characters are. I mean, most of the manga I'm reading is Otome Isekai. Yeah, these these corny ass names. <laughs> I'm not gonna read them for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just quite a few. I did not as much as I think because I've been reading less and less of them. Okay, right now the exclusive thing I am reading right now is Baby Isekai. I would call them Baby Isekai. Basically, you are either the baby, the main character is a baby, or the main character is the mother or father taking care of a baby. That's what I would call Baby Isekai. It's either baby or childcare Isekai. Why Isekai? I have no idea. It is one of the favorite ones I'm reading right now. So it's the main story is this girl, I would say FL. FL is female lead, the MC, main character. She lived a very hard life and then she got regressed into a baby with the ability to see other people's emotions and status symbols. Basically she got a superpower when she regressed to be able to see other people's thoughts and status windows. Yeah, basically what's here, yeah. So basically, yeah, it's basically like he, she thought her dad hated her, but in reality, her dad actually liked her, but doesn't know how to say it. That does those sundere bullshit, right? <laughs> now, usually this kind of manhwa, the story is like pretty lighthearted. I like lighthearted stories. Don't don't be too serious for me. I don't like stories that take themselves a bit too seriously, like saving the world every 10 seconds. Not that there's no like saving the world in these stories, but it's usually like the last, like the final boss. Since you have knowledge of like the past, I mean the future, right? You can change some situations to save somebody. This one's a good read. I personally would give like, uh, here's like, here it writes 8.1 stars, everyone likes it. I would say 8.1 is pretty good already, right? For me, I would put 9.0, I guess. I, I forgot, I think I rated it already. Cute baby. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I gave 9 stars. Okay, next one is Lady Baby. Please don't read this. I, there's a reason I wanted to put this the number 2 manhwa to review here. <laughs> I would say Lady Baby started off really well. It was crazy. So basically, there's this girl who had a rough life. Uh, basically, they usually start off the same. Had a really rough life and then they get regressed. Regress means they go back in time to when she was a baby and then they like get to redo life all over again with the knowledge of the future. But the problem with this one is when she was born, she could talk like a normal human. That were, those were like the first signs of like, you were like, oh, this is probably not gonna be as good as it's gonna be. This is one of those ones that is like really famous, but it's bad. It's like really, this one is one of the ones where like people read it not because it's good, but because it's really bad in my opinion. It's like, I, I, I have stopped reading it for a while, but I think I'll like pick it up when it's about to finish because this one was one of those like, yeah, it's like so bad. You want to read uh, read what happens next? <laughs> if you're gonna write wow these kind of stories, this is the way to do it. Like make it so bad that people wanna still read it. Don't make a story boring. The worst thing you can do about a story is make it boring, right? If you're boring, then no one's 
gonna remember you but if you are remember at least make your story remembered even if it's remember for being bad right <laughs> at least people are like oh this is so shit i wonder what happens next man <laughs> it's like uh it's like one most critical set right like, it's so I, I forgot what he said i remember he said something along the lines of that as well he likes watching bad movies <laughs> Like, I remember I read until like chapter 60 plus or something. This one, the story is supposed to take place in Old England, right? It's like most of these stories take place in like, in like I would say 1800 Europe, 1800s. I'm not specific. It's like in medieval Europe, right? when there were still castles and monsters, like basically in your like RPG games, like those kind of settings, right? But suddenly this, like the story, like there was a part where it like took place in like in the 80s in America, and I'm like suddenly there's karaoke, right? Imagine this picture, and suddenly the 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 main character singing karaoke, and you're like, what? 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 What, what happened? Like what? Even the comments were like, what? What setting is this supposed to take place in? Bro? <laughs> they suddenly transport to America in the 80s, and the thing is, this shit is going on for 124 chapters. <laughs> like they they don't run out. The bad ones keep ru keep running, man. <laughs> The next one, next one is perfect plan for Freddy to ending. Actually, actually, I like this one. This one, the story was okay. It's basically like the this yellow is a female lead, right? The girl is actually a bully of her sister. Sister with meaning the white hair character. But the blonde hair character was bullying her so bad that she got executed. Something, something like that. <laughs> But then a random girl from Korea is a cut into the blonde haired body. <laughs> and then she's like, oh shit, I'm the bully. I need to change so that my white haired uh, sister likes. So this is not the baby is a cut, it's like a sister is a cut. Eh? Then the uh, male is like just there, I guess. That's the story simplified to an extent. There's like other drama here. You can read it here, I guess. This one's like a simple story. I would say I would read it like just to get to the ending too. Not so wicked step. This one I've been following this since like three years ago. This one's a good shit. So basically, some guy, I mean, some girl from Korea, also like got isekai into like this this story where the the daughter is like the main character, but the father is like very straight nosed. And the original character of this like this mom was bullying bullying the daughter as well so suddenly she's like it's like into this the mom character so she's like ah shit i gotta take care of the daughter properly and then the father which is like the emperor it's like hey what the heck's going on <laughs> i know it sounds uh, really weird when i simplify it a bit too much but that's basically what happens this one's uh more based on like snow white actually she's like the wicked stepmother right she's the stepmother i've been trying to get this thing to end i've been following it for so long i wanted to end real soon i feel like it should end soon it's been running for who knows how long at least five years already they, i think it, they took a lot of breaks uh 8.8 .8 stars is good i guess but i think i would put it like eight eight at most eight out of ten i've been following so long that i forgot about it <laughs> This one with the beloved bashful villainous. This one is oh man, I've been following this for like quite a while too. The, the it's really cute. The art is really cute. I would say you can read this just for the art. It's really cute. The story is like and I think you can read it. It's like basically yeah, it's a kind of bad person and was bullying the main character, female character. So he suddenly need to change to take care of the main female character who's the Who's the princess? Yeah, eight stars is appropriate. I'm saying eight stars for this one too. The villainous bestie. This one's like okay, too. Yeah, seven and plus. I will put eight stars for this one. This one is really a cute story too. It's basically an isekai mate who was like seven years old, I guess, and then he was working at the mate. But the the villainous, which is basically the empress, they are called villains. Villainous manhwas, but they are not really bad guys. Okay. <laughs> Just like they are bad in the original story. Original story. The pro they always call it the original story. But then turns out the mate was a empress. Oh shit. Yeah, seven and a half stars. I would put it like seven out of ten too. I just read this one, but I forgot what it was about actually. <laughs> I actually forgot what it was about. I read this yesterday. This is the most generic name, bro. Reborn as the protect. I really can't read. Oh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Maybe it's for uh, forgettable. What I've learned in life is like, you just find something that you like to read, and then usually every one of the stories is almost the same. But if it's something you like to read and you can read it and you can read it on repeat, then just go read the stuff, man. 
every story is about the same it's just there's like little different variations to like differentiate them and that's good enough for me ah uh, this one's interesting the father's actually like the priestess warrior and that's crazy and the mother's the princess but she died in battle a lot of like the female main characters don't have the mother with them which i don't know why i feel like most of like the mother characters die at like childbirth which is really bad <laughs> i don't know why most of them they don't put the mother in it's just the mother's like an afterthought character <laughs> they die i they either die when the child was get, getting given birth to or they die some other way some kind of disease like these kind of stories feels bad it's usually like a main usually the main plot is the father and daughter relationship this one i would give 9 out of 10 it's uh it's more unique than the other stories for sure this one is good i remember it being good but i don't want to talk too long i will give this 7 out of 10 this one's really good though please, if you like this kind of stories please read this one the baby divine this it's a furry i hate furries but is this is a good kind of furry story they are not furry per se it's just that they can transform into animal spirits this is like mm, 10 out of 10 i will give this 10 out of 10 actually the mother is in the story as well this which is makes it even better Talented Baby Squirrel. This one's like a 9 out of 10 as well. Almost similar to this one, but this one is more like I would say this a more this one's more like a yokai kind of beast, divine beast. This one's like a normal animals. Transform into normal animals. Uh, this one's like okay, this one's actually the main character. The female and the male lead got married really young. They're like they are like 12 years old, I think. That one's actually the husband. They are both like 12 and 14 I think. This one I would consider uh, under like young couple is that kind? I haven't read much of this but from where it's going I have really high expectations of this one. I will put it 9 out of 10 for now. Don't disappoint me in the later chapters. <laughs> I think these are the ones I'll talk about for now. I'm pretty sure there was some where this was like the main characters, the mother and then they're taking care of a boy but I can't find it for this video. Sorry guys. I wanted to make one video about otome isekai the uh manhwa side bread but that would be for like another day my web webtoon has a lot of them right oh the remarried empress I <laughs> wait sub zero is good sub zero is good i'll find one day to like talk about romance manhwa yeah this one's good too okay i'll stop the video here bam bam bakudan mm -hmm.